We'll notice Mitarachi is head of economic policy for Greece's opposition party, New Democracy. Please say he joins me now on the phone. Mr. Mitarachi, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. I want to start with a simple question for you. Is the New Democracy Party prepared to sign up to the new package we of spending cuts and state asset sales? We have raised concerns about the efficiency of the program since the announcement a year ago, concerns which have been affirmed now by the current discussion to take further measures. As the opposition, we clearly agree with the need to reduce the budget, and we actually believe we need to balance the budget. But we argue that the current policy mix is not capable of achieving this objective, and we see that the efficiency of the program is low. The key issue now is the recession that has led to an increase of the deficit in the first four months of 2011 versus 2010 and not the reduction of it. You asked specifically about privatizations. One of the criticisms we had for the program last year, it, it was not taking any measure to reduce the stock of debt. We actually came up with the need of a more aggressive privatization program. We have set this 50 billion target. It was a new democracy proposal mm. in July 2010. However, we need to see the privatization not only as a way of reducing debt, but also helping the economy recover. So they need to go alongside liberalization of markets to drive new investments alongside the sale of state assets because that's only when you're going to have an impact in the economy you're going to start the economy again and that's a prerequisite to achieve a reduction of deficit but mr mitrachi it would seem that some of your concerns are in the process of being addressed right now for example there have been reports that the eu and the imf were going to agree on a reduction in the vat tax in that circumstance would your party then agree to back the government's austerity measures the government said yesterday that they're not looking at the VAT reduction. We have provided a framework to achieve consensus based on a program that can actually provide results. But it seems that the government does not want to discuss it. And anyway, to be fair, it is the role of governments to govern and of opposition to offer constructive criticism. Because we have disagreed and we still disagree with a lot of elements of the program, but in no way have we obstructed its implementation. And we don't plan to do so. Okay. You essentially reject the government's austerity measures. I mean, you're saying that, you, you know, there needs to be, if anything, more investment that, you know, given Greece's debt burden already, that you want to see more growth stimulated. But then what do you propose in place of these measures to bring the level of debt down? Absolutely. We, we're not proposing a Keynesian type model. We're talking about more structural changes. And we proposed on, on May 12th a program that consists of seven steps to restart the economy, which will have a net positive impact of four billion in the first year of implementation. Because we're talking about tax cuts, which have a cost, but at the time, same time we're talking about structural changes, we're talking about liquidity enhancements, which are very critical to the market at this stage, we're talking about tax amnesty, and we're proposing a number of specific measures that will raise uh, revenues for the state. At the same time, we also propose an 18 billion program to reduce expenses in the next three years. Our proposal is not to uh, reduce tax and start spending because absolutely the economy cannot stand it. We simply believe that the economy needs at the same time to keep the economy going while yeah. taking but structural Mr. changes. Mr. Mitarachi, for, forgive me, but it would seem, I guess many would argue that it simply isn't enough to look for new ways to raise revenues for the state, that with such a high debt burden, you have to have tax increases accompanying some of the measures that you described. Okay, let's, let's see that point for a minute. Last year they've done this, exactly that, they have raised taxes, and in the first four months of 2011, state revenues are down 9% versus a target of being up 8.5%. So we're seeing a 17% gap between realized revenues and planned revenue. So if you look at numbers, and it's not working. What's happening is we have no new investments whatsoever in Greece, and companies are re-domiciling. Service companies maybe are moving to Cyprus. Manufacturing companies are moving north to Bulgaria, countries that have a 10% tax rate, effective. Mr. Notice Mitarachi, thank you so much for speaking to us. Appreciate it. Lots